So now when we have the two parts and we check the simulator, now it's just to post process this for the machine. So we can uh, post process. And then we can see with the speeds and feeds it should take 2 hours and 4 minutes. And we can uh, also open the output file and have a look. So 2 hours we can go back and check the settings for the cutters we used. And we have the flat end mill. The feed is 30 inch per minute so it's a bit too slow I think so maybe it should be about 80 so if we speed up this little bit to 80 inch per minute and maybe the spindle is about 10,000 rpm we can save it we can change the quarter inch ball cutter as well and uh, put the feed to 80 10,000 save it and now we can post process again Now we can see the machining time is 46 minutes. But there is an alternate way to do the finishing tool path. We can do uh, the shape uh, by using only the flat cutter. I'm going to show you how that works. So we can hide the two paths first. We select the flat end half inch cutter and then we um, we can create a new layer for the some curves so uh, make a new layer call it curves and now we can go to the curve tools and we can go to duplicate edge so I want to pick the this edge so I duplicate it and then I click on the join command and then I can join the edges together at the same time as it will be uh, a copy of the edge curves So there we have uh, the edge curve. We can move it to the to the curve layer. And uh, then we make another curve at the bottom. So curve tools duplicate edge join Okay, now we have two curves uh, and I'm about to mill between those curves so we can hide can do we can hide uh, the model and uh, if I want to mill from that curve down to that curve back and forth if the cutter should reach uh, outside we should make an offset of that curve so we make an offset. Uh, the the it's a half inch cutter, so 0 0.25 will be the half cutter diameter. So we can put an offset of 0.3, and we can make an offset of that too, about 
point two. Now we can delete the original curves and machine between those these two curves. And we but we also have to check the direction so they have the same direction. So then we go to Rhino command analyze direction. And you can click to switch direction. And now it's the same direction on the curves. So now I can go to the curve milling function between two curves. And then I click the first curve and then the second curve. And then I choose a step over. So I think it can be a little bit larger if it's a half inch cutter. I think it should be about point one. And click OK. And that toolpath will uh, do all the job in one go. So we can simulate this if we first uh, do the roughing. And that one should go before the profiling when we cut out the part. Change the color of that one too. So we can run this in the simulator. And uh, there is the result. So we can uh, compare this to the first tool pot. So if we post process this, then we can see the machining time is 44 minutes. And if we use the other finishing tool pots and the roughing. You can see it's four to six minutes, so we saved two minutes, but it's about the same time. Okay, thank you very much for watching.